hello everyone welcome back to my channel i hope that this video finds you all doing amazing and i hope each and every one of you are doing very well today i am super excited because this video is a part of my make it modern challenge that i host once a month and if you don't know what it is it's just a challenge an open challenge that anyone can join in and also be a co-host if you would like to be a co-host all you have to do is just dm me on instagram and I'll be sure to have my Instagram handle down below in the description box. So check that out if you would like to be a co-host. But the challenge is basically make it modern. So make any one or more DIYs within that theme. And so that's really it basically. And so I'm super excited for that. And I am super excited for this month's co-host, which is Lisa, a sweet friend of mine. And I am sure you all know her. And if you don't, I will have her link in my description box below so you can go and check out what she's created for you today for the Make It Modern Challenge. And with that being said, you guys, let's jump right into the video. All right, guys, so starting off, I have these three craft wood pieces that you can find at Dollar Tree now. Dollar Tree has a ton of craft wood that you can use and i am so excited that they have those now you can do so many things and so i picked up a couple of these and i'm gonna sand them down just because they're a bit rough on the edges and i don't want them as sharp on the edges like as uh finished i just want them a little bit sanded down so i'm gonna sand them down wipe all the excess off and then I'm going to glue them together using wood glue and hot glue. So that way I can try to make a little stand. And I'm going to form it in a sort of tripod type of way. So I'm going to hot glue two of them down together on the top as you see me do here. And then I will add the third one on the side of the two. And it is super easy to do. So I would just go ahead and add the third one the same way using wood glue and hot glue. And that is going to create that nice little stand that I am trying to create. And then I will take this frame that is also from Dollar Tree, this square frame. And I am going to hot glue it to the top of this stand. And I do end up taking a piece of jumbo popsicle stick and sticking it down on top first because it was a bit sideways and we don't want that. So I just stick down a little piece of the craft stick with some hot glue and then I can place the frame on top. And this is going to create a nice beautiful little stool. And once we have everything pieced together nicely, I'm going to take some black spray paint and I just go over the entire thing with the black spray paint. Of course, you can use whatever color that you desire. And that is it for this DIY, you guys. So pretty and so simple. And I absolutely love how this turned out. And you can just place anything on here. I placed down a little plant, a uh, faux plant um, for fall and that is really it and i really love how this turned out and who would think that you made this from dollar tree items So for this next DIY, I have this wood ring here that I got off of Amazon. And I also have these half wood beads that I also got from Amazon. And what I'm going to do is I am going to hot glue them down around halfway on this ring. I am just going to go halfway up the ring and then the other half I am going to place down some nice greenery. And I am making a wreath here. And so it is super simple, you guys, and it turns out so beautiful, and I really love this wreath. And so I just start by hot gluing down the beads, and I do leave mine in the natural wood color, but I do think that they will absolutely look beautiful if you paint them as well, or even stain them. 
whatever you would like to do and so once we have those beads down i'm gonna go in with this very beautiful greenery that i found at my thrift store and this greenery is so pretty you guys it's eucalyptus and it smells so good and i was super excited to uh, have found this because it's so pretty and i absolutely love it so i go ahead and i just pick out some pieces and i just hot glue it to the other half of the wreath and i also take some dried floral that i got from dollar tree and i hot glue down a few pieces as well and then that is really it for this wreath you guys i wanted it to be super simple and just minimal and i love how it turned out Now guys, I am almost done and I am loving how it's turning out. And I was debating for a while whether or not I wanted to put something down in the center because I felt like something was missing. So I did end up going in with a solar wood flower and I just placed it right there in the center and I think that's what it was missing. And so I really love how it turned out. It's just so beautiful and so minimal and I really love it with all the neutral colors and that pop of green. I really hope that you love this DIY. Please let me know what you guys think. So friends, this month's co-host is Lisa over at Living My Best Life with Lisa Marie. She is such a sweet, dear friend and she has been my friend since I have started YouTube. And I really love her channel, you guys. And I think that you would too. Her channel, over on her channel, she makes boho, chic, modern, farmhouse, you name it. She does it all just as my channel and so she has something for everyone and i think that you should go and check her out i'm gonna have her link in my description box so after you are done watching my video you can head on over and tell her that i said hi and if you are coming over from lisa's channel hi and welcome and i hope to see you in future videos with that being said let's jump right into the third diy so for this next one i was actually inspired by a post i saw on pinterest and i'm gonna be taking this jar that you can find at dollar tree it's so cute with the little jute hanger and so i'm gonna leave the jar as it is and i'm gonna take some leaves that i have in this bag here 
these leaves are from dollar tree as well and i'm just gonna pick out a few at random that i like and what we're gonna do is create a little fall candle jar and so what we're gonna do is take some mod podge and stick it down on the leaf and try to stick down the leaf to the jar and we're gonna do this like it's a bit tricky because they tend to want to pop up and out so it's hard to get them to stay down but once you keep pressing it down they will stay down nice and place and so i just end up taking some mod podge at first and just putting it on the brush and then brushing it on but i find if you put the mod podge on the leaf and spread it out with the brush first then put it into the jar and then add more mod podge on top brushing it on it'll stay way more nicer and way more easier so once you get all your leaves on let that dry really well because you don't want to see any you know globs of glue or anything so just let that dry really well and that is it you guys that was super simple and this turned out super pretty and i absolutely love it for fall time you can add down there a little candle i just placed a little led candle from dollar tree but you can definitely place down whatever you like in here and just like that in a blink of an eye you have such a beautiful piece less than 10 minutes to make and you get such a nice looking piece that you looks like you just bought from the store and so i really love how it turned out let me know what you think of this diy Now guys, for my fourth and final DIY for today, I'm going to be taking this little truck sign that I got from Dollar Tree and these adorable little pumpkins that I got from Dollar Tree as well. Those are so pretty and then I have some florals that are from Dollar Tree and I am going to give this truck a coat of this really pretty green paint and I give it about two to three coats to cover up all that brown really well and i let that dry really well it does dry really fast because it is chalk paint and also when you paint it on wood it dries super quick and i do also like to take my blow dryer just to speed it up some more and so i could keep working but once that is nicely painted i do go in with some black paint for the tires and i do try to go in back and forth really carefully so I could clean up the tire edges so they could be nice and clean and so once I get that nicely painted I will let that dry then I'm gonna go in with this sandpaper so I can sand down a little bit of the back of the truck area where the brown is because I want to take off some of that green that may have gotten on there when I painted it because I do want to leave it its natural brown color that it already was. I think that looks super pretty and it makes it stand out. So I'm just going to sand some of that away and then we can start hot gluing down our greenery. And I'm going to just take some picks off that I like. I don't want to use the whole thing. I just want the greenery pieces. So I'm going to take those off and I am going to be hot gluing them down to the back of the truck. And I'm doing it on the back, that way it can look like it's coming out from the back of the truck and not just, you know, hot glued in the front. So I'm going to hot glue them down in the back and make it look as full as possible. And once I like how it looks, I'm going to go in with the pumpkins and I'm going to start hot gluing those down as well. And I am just going to make them look like they are just popping out from the back of the truck, stacked up all together on top of each other and i'm only using the darker ones from this pack because i love that color but you can definitely use each one of the colors or whatever color you prefer and so i just go ahead and glue those down and it is starting to look so pretty and i absolutely love how this turned out i really love how all the colors tie in together 
so once i get those pumpkins on there i then take some moss that you can get at dollar tree and i hot glue down little bunches on the back of the truck where the greenery is because i want it to look more fuller and not where you can see the stems of the greenery from the front so i do place down some hot glue and place down little patches of the moss that way it can look like it's nice and full inside of the truck And guys this is looking so super pretty and i absolutely love it it's so cute and now i am just gonna take a sharpie marker and i am just gonna outline just around the shape of the truck just to make it pop and stand out and that will be the final touch for this diy i'm not gonna put any wording or sign on here i just want the truck to really speak for itself and just be nice and minimal and i really love that and i love how this turned out it's super pretty and i think this is my favorite piece from today i don't know i just love how everything just tied together and how simple it is but it looks so high end and i absolutely love it i hope that you love it too and that was it for today's video you guys if you liked it please do give it a thumbs up and let me know which one was your favorite from today because i love to hear your guys's feedback and yeah you guys i hope that you like today's diys And that is it for today's video you guys i hope that i was able to inspire you in some way and if i did please give this video a big thumbs up because that does help out my channel and to help it grow and do consider hitting that subscribe button because i would love to have you and i would love for you to be part of the family and don't forget to check out my friend lisa over on her channel i will have her link in my description and i will see you all on the next one bye